CDDB, short for Compact Disk Database, is a database for software applications to look up audio CD information over the Internet. This is performed by a client which calculates a unique disk ID and then queries the database. As a result, the client is able to display the artist name, CD title, track list and some additional information. CDDB is a licensed trademark of Grassanote, Inc. The database is used primarily by media players and CD Ripper software. If a CD is not recognized by a media player or CD Ripper it can be added to the database if the user fills in the names and artists etc. in a media player such as iTunes or Music Match Jukebox. The need for CDDB is a direct consequence of the original design of the CD, which was conceived as an evolution of the gramophone record, and did not consider the audio tracks as data files to be identified and indexed. The audio CD format does not include the disk name or track names, so a supplemental database is needed to supply this information when disks are used with modern media systems. A later development called CD Text is another solution to the same problem. History CDDB was invented by T. Can around late 1993 as a local database that was delivered with his popular XMCD music player application. The application's change history first mentions the acronym CDDB in version 1.1 released on February 25, 1994. Users would submit new entries to the database via email to CAN. The database quickly became unwieldy and CAN enlisted the help of Steve Schiff to create a network-accessible version of the database operating as CDDB Incorporated in 1995. Graham Toll supplied hosting for the CDDB server and created a banner advertising revenue model to pay for the hosting. The original software behind CDDB was released under the GMU General Public License, and many people submitted CD information thinking the service would also remain free. The project was eventually incorporated as CDDB LLC in 1998 and was soon sold by CAN, Schiff and told to a high-tech consumer electronics manufacturer called Essient. In a 2006 interview in Wired, Schiff claimed that Essient was the only company that would guarantee the continued development of the service by its founders, as well as protect the operation in an atmosphere where numerous companies were by Ding Euro, and in one case, attempting extortion a Euro to acquire and immediately sell the CDDB to major players like Microsoft which wanted a CD recognition service but wouldn't deal directly with CDDB Incorporated. In 2000, CDDB Incorporated was renamed Grassanote. Early announcements asserted that access to the CDDB service would remain 100% free to software developers and consumers. The license was nonetheless changed, and some programmers complained that the new license included certain terms that they couldn't accept. If one wanted to access CDDB, one was not allowed to access any other CDDB-like database such as FREDB. Any programs using a CDDB lookup had to display a CDDB logo while performing the lookup. In March 2001, CDDB, now owned by Grassanote, banned all unlicensed applications from accessing their database. New licenses for CDDB1 were no longer available. Since Grassanote wanted to force programmers to switch to CDDB2, a new version incompatible with CDDB1 and hence with FREDB. The license change motivated many forks in the CDDB project tree, including the FREDB project, which is intended to remain free software. As of June 2, 2008, Sony Corporation of America completed acquisition of Grassanote, per the news note on the Grassanote website. How CDDB works, CDDB was designed around the task of identifying entire CDs, not merely single tracks. The identification process involves creating a DSID, a sort of fingerprint of a CD created by performing calculations on the track duration information stored in the table of contents of the CD. This DSID is used with the Internet database typically either to download track names for the whole CD or to submit track names for a newly identified CD. This information is often provided by end users. In iTunes, which uses Grassanote, users name the CD tracks and then use the Submit Track Names option under the Advanced heading in the toolbar to submit track information. 
since identification of CDs is based on the length and order of the tracks, CDDB cannot identify playlists in which the order of tracks has been changed, or compilations of tracks from different CDs. CDDB also cannot distinguish between different CDs that have the same number of tracks and the same track lengths. Example calculation of a CDDB1 disk ID, CDDB1 identifies CDs with a 32-bit number, usually displayed as a hexadecimal number containing eight digits, XXYYYYZZ. The first two digits represent a checksum based on the starting times of each track on the CD, mod 255. Your next four digits represent the total time of the CD in seconds from the start of the first track to the end of the last track. The last two digits represent the number of tracks on the CD. For example, suppose a CD contains a single track of duration 36-10 seconds. First the 20 checksum is calculated by summing the track starting times mod 255. Since CDs have a two-second offset from the start of disk data, 20 becomes 02. Second, the total CD play duration of 36 10 seconds in hexadecimal is 0E1A, so YYYY becomes 0E1A. Finally, there is one track on the CD so ZZ becomes 01. The full disk ID of the example CD is 020E1A01. Any CD which contains one track with a duration of 36 10 seconds starting 2 seconds from the beginning of the CD will have this disk ID. To distinguish between different CDs which happen to have the same disk ID, the CDDB1 database is organized into multiple categories. If there is a conflict with different CD releases possessing the same CDDB1 ID, they can be placed in a different category. Sample code for calculating CDDB1 disk IDs in various programming languages is available on the web, such as in Java. Classical music, at its origin, CDDB was oriented towards pop rock music with a typical artist song structure. Their database often lacks adequate information on classical music CDs, mostly due to its structure, which originally lacked a standard way of storing composers' names. In 2007, Grassanote announced an enhanced format, the Classical Music Initiative, which places all the additional information in the three field structure. A classical track title would now contain the composer, for instance Vivaldi, The Four Seasons, Op 8 1, Spring A Euro 1. Allegro. The artist field would contain all information about the ensemble, conductor, and perhaps soloist, for instance Joseph Silverstein, Seiji Azura. Boston Symphony Orchestra. In 2007, about 10,000 classical CDs had been converted to this new convention. Alternatives, alternative projects include FREDB, Music Brains, Discogs, Decibel Music Systems Limited and AMG Lasso. See also, List of online music databases. References. External links, Grassanote. List of Grassanote licensed applications, CDDB1 protocol, CDDB1 database entry format.